What is up everyone, my name is Annex and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. So I'm playing in a creative world right now because we're doing a short little guide here on how you can get better FPS in Ark Survival Ascended. So the first thing you want to do is add some launch codes. I have two launch codes and they're helping me so much. Uh, I'll put a short video right now how you can put your own launch codes. So when you're on Steam, what you want to do is go to Ark Survival Ascended, press right click, properties and then go down here and this is where you'll be able to type your launch options i'm only using high and use all available cores uh, these basically makes your computer prioritize the game more and obviously will help you a lot with your performance the only reason i use these two is because they don't really change any of the graphics in game they just makes your computer prioritize the game more uh, i'll put some more on screen right now uh, if you want to go even further and change the quality to get better performance. Uh, but yeah, I only use these two. And uh, yeah, I'm playing here with a 1650 Super on low settings. And I'm running with 20 FPS. And obviously, we we, we don't like that. That, that, that That's not good. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's get into it. You want to go into the console by pressing the button between tab and escape. There we go. And then do r.streaming dot pool size and zero that will unlock your whole gpu memory now you want to do r dot shadow quality zero this will remove all shadows from the game as you can see it will obviously look a lot worse but it will also really help your game performance for some reason the clouds take up a lot of the performance in your game and there's no way in the settings to disable it but you can do r dot volumetric cloud Zero, and that will disable the clouds. As you can see, the skies are clear. You can also do R dot dynamic global illumination, uh, il il illumination, illumination method. There we go. I can't speak English. Two, and this will disable lumen, and lumen also takes up a lot of your performance, like so. The last command I'm going to show you today is R dot nanite dot max pixels per edge. Oh, there we go. And then four, this will reduce the triangles for nanite meshes. I found most of these options from some reviewers on Steam, so I'll put them on the screen now to give credit. The, I did not find this myself. Uh, I just thought I would spread the word and help people who are having issues because I had a lot of issues myself. But um, yeah, it's gone from 20 FPS to between 30 and 40, so it's a huge improvement. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And peace out. Have a great day.